Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are going to, to do a very short uh, follow along here for CloudWatch. So if you are taking the Solution Architect Associate, you don't need to know a considerable amount uh, about CloudWatch in terms of details. That's more for the SysOp Associate, but uh, we do need to generally know uh, what's going on here. So uh, maybe the first thing we should learn how to do is create an alarm. Okay, so alarms are triggers based on uh, when certain thresholds uh, uh, metrics uh, uh, trigger a certain threshold. So I have a bunch here already because I was creating some uh, uh, DynamoDB tables. Whenever you create DynamoDB, you always get a bunch of alarms. But I'm going to go ahead here and create a new alarm. The most common alarm to create is a, a billing a billing alarm. So uh, maybe we could go ahead and do that. So under billing, we're going to choo choose total estimated charge. We're going to choose USD. I'm going to select metric. Okay. And, um, you know, we can uh, choose the period of time we want it to happen. We have the static and anomaly detection. We have whether um, we need to determine um, when it should get triggered. So we would say when we go over uh, $1,000, okay, we should get a, or oops, $1,000 USD, okay. It's, uh, it's not letting me fill that in there. There we go. Uh, when we hit that metric there, then we should get an email about it, all right? And so um, we are going to go ahead and just hit next there. And uh, for this alarm to work, we need to have an SNS topic, okay? So we're going to create a new topic here, and I'm just going to say Andrew at exampro.co, uh, all right? And um, what we'll end up doing here is we'll just hit next. Oops, we have to create topic button there. Okay, so it's created that topic. We'll hit next, and we'll just define this as um, billing alarm. Okay, and we will hit next here, and we will create the alarm. And so now we have an alarm. So anytime uh, billing goes over a thousand dollars, it's going to uh, send us an email. It's very unlikely this is going to happen within this account uh, because I'm not spending that much here. It does have to wait for some data to come in, so it will say inefficient data to begin with, and uh, it's still waiting for pending confirmation. So it is waiting for us to confirm that SNS topic. So I'm just going to hop over to my email and just confirm that for you very quickly here. And so in very short amount of time, I've uh, received here a, a subscription. So I'm just going to hit confirm subscription here. Okay. It's just going to show that I've uh, confirmed that. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and close that here, and we'll, we'll just give this a refresh. All right, so that pending confirmation is gone. So that means that this billing alarm is in an okay status. And we're going to take a look now at CloudWatch events, which has been renamed to Amazon Event Bridge. So these are exactly the same service. So AWS added some additional functionality, such as the ability to create additional uh, event bus. Uh, and just to wrap up uh, talking about uh, Amazon Event Bridge, I just want to show you that you can create multiple uh, event buses here. So if we go and create an event bus, you can actually... Um, uh, create an event bus that is shared from another AWS account. Okay, so you could actually react to um, uh, within your system uh, an event from another uh, actual account, which is kind of cool. And then you also have your partner event sources. So here you could react to data within Datadog or something with that has to do with login. Um, so, you know, there are some ways to uh, react cross account. Okay, so that, that's just the point I wanted to uh, make there. All right, and uh, we're gonna just check one more thing out here, which is a CloudWatch dashboard. So um, CloudWatch dashboards allows you to create a bunch of metrics and put it on a dashboard. So that wraps up the uh, CloudWatch uh, section here. So um, what we're gonna wanna do is we're just gonna want to uh, tear down whatever we created. So let's go to our dashboard um, 